So welcome back to our latest MIG welding release. We're going to do a two run MIG vertical in the PF position. We're using four meters a minute wire and 17.8 volts, 200 inches a minute. So the first run, the optimal idea of the first run is to put fusion into the two plates. So we need to concentrate our heat into the corner of that joint to get penetration into those two plates. So we're only putting a very slight weave on our torch. Second run, we then have to weave. So we're controlling the heat by putting a longer flat weave with a slight pause on the two sides. So we're trying to maintain a flat well pull across the top of that run. The aim of this run is to fuse into both plates and to fuse out the first run that we've put in. As you can see from this video, this first run is not as flat as it could have been. So we have some slight tight sections on either side. So the aim is to get as much heat into the both sides as we possibly can and to fuse into that plate. The reason we do a weave is we're creating a cold spot on each side so that we're controlling the heat so that gravity doesn't get hold of it and drag it all into the center, creating a nice saggy horrible weld with undercut on both sides which I'm sure a lot of you have done. So we are using each side as a guide, picking a point each side the same distance so that we're controlling and keeping our leg lengths exactly the same. Obviously leg lengths of the distance out on each plate so that we've got a nice 45 degree fillet. With some of the newer welding sets, if you increase the arc length, i.e. you pull the torch further away, then that will actually slightly drop the volts to create a little less heat. If you push it further in, then that'll give you your maximum heat. So you can get a little bit of control by changing the length of your arc. You can use this technique on virtually anything that you're MIG welding. But ideally, getting that setting right is your first port of call. So remember not to hang around too much in the center of that weld because you'll end up with a convex and not flat profile. So please like and subscribe so the kids don't get gas and MIG wire for Christmas. If this was informative and you learnt a little bit from it, check out our horizontal MIG welding video on screen now. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.